Directions for shadow model. Two pieces of white paper, a ruler, a small object, a pencil or a marker, scissors, and tape or glue. All right, step one, we are going to take the first piece of white paper and fold it vertically unfold it and measure three inches from the top. And draw a line across the page. and measure one inch from that line and draw a box in the middle of the page and color it in. Draw a compass rose at the bottom of the page north, east, south, and west. The next thing we are going to do is set that aside. All right, so to make the sundial a little bit better, I found a plate. I happen to have styrofoam plates in my house, but I wanted to make sure that when I traced the circle on the paper, it would fit. So that's, what I, that's why I cut off um, a little of the edge of the styrofoam paper. And so I'm on, oh, sorry. I'm gonna place it on my paper. Like this, I'm gonna trace it. The pencil. And then I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the circle. And I've practiced so many times, I already have one. So instead of folding it directly in half, we're gonna fold it a little bit shy of a half. See, I'm not completely in half, I'm just a little shy of a half, just like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fold that in half on itself. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky because now I need to start folding it into thirds. So I'm going to fold it a little bit, like almost a third of the way in. It doesn't have to be exact. Fold this one a third of the way in. Kind of, Let's see. And then this is also going to be <clears throat> folded into thirds. So I'm gonna fold this side. Gets kind of tough to do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fold this side. And then I can go ahead and unfold it. Therefore, on the bigger side of it, like this. I'm going to start labeling this. This is 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 
and 12 noon, which is 12 p.m. And then keep going one through nine. So we're gonna have 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m. Here we go. So then actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my original one that I didn't like so much and I'm going to glue this down. I'm actually going to glue this down because I feel like it's a better one. So I'm gonna glue it. Maybe cut the other half off. Let's see how this goes. So I've just cut the other half off it and I'm gonna glue it down here. Glue it on that line. There we go. There we go, much better. That one works so much better. Okay, go back to the instructions and see what we're supposed to do next. Then it says, all right, cut out half your circle and fold the tab back. So now I'm gonna fold this just like this and align it to the bottom of the other page. So you have your original page and you now have your sundial. Oh, let's fold it back this way. Let's see how that works. There we go. Now I'm going to glue that down. So I'm going to line those two lines up. Look at that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. So now I have my sundial. It is my daytime scale. So it should be standing at a 90 degree angle. All right, place my object on this square in the middle. Got my little Lego guy here. Let's see if I can get him to stand up. All right. Now I'm gonna grab a flashlight. I may have to close. All right, we're gonna grab a flashlight. My little flashlight here. All right, we are going to make shadows. So now we're going to go back to the other directions to start measuring shadows. Um, you will need to click on Shadow Project Lab PowerPoint for the instructions on the shadow. So I am going to start at 7 a.m. using my flashlight. I'm going to fly, shine my flashlight at 7 a.m. And look at the shadow. I'm going to take a look at the shadow here. That's, I don't know if y'all can see that. That's actually pretty cool quite honest with you. 
that is neat. So when I am pointing my 7 a.m., I am going to need to mark a line where my shadow ends. I'm going to label it 7 a.m. on my base paper. And then I can measure the distance from my, my mark. So let's see. This is, looks like it's about oh, three and a half inches. Maybe three and one, two, three. Yeah, three and a half inches. Look at that. One, two, oh, maybe two thirds. No, three and three eighths. It's about three and three eighths inch. So this is three and three eighths of an inch. So what I would do is I would continue measuring distances around based on the data sheet from seven, starting at 7 a.m. to 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10, 11, and 12. See how it moves? So I can mark 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., and 12 a.m. So this was 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m. Wow, it gets shorter as you start moving into noon. It's pretty interesting. Then you're going to want to measure all those and record it into the data sheet also provided. Have fun!